DJ ATV. Good evening and welcome to DGM TV News. This is Political News read by Emmanuel Oladipo. Before we delve into the report for this hour, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel DGM TV where you can get latest news from us. We implore you to also like, comment on and share our videos with your friends, family and associates. Reminded that DGM TV is an online and entertainment news outlet that presents news stories from dynamic viewpoints. We specialize in the presentation of news using multimedia platforms and you can locate us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram with our handle at DJM TV News. In today's report, we bring you stories from the continuous celebration rocking opposition People's Democratic Party PDP over the emergence of former Vice President Alaji Atiku Abubakar as a presidential candidate for 2023 general elections and Reno Omokri's apology to former Anambra State Governor Peter Obi after a vicious attack on him during an interview on Arise TV. Now the news in details. Celebration rocks PDP while Governor Obike here to congratulate Atiku for winning PDP primaries. Celebrations continue to rock the opposition People's Democratic Party PDP over the emergence of former Nigerian Vice President Alaji Atiku Abubakar as the party's presidential candidate for the coming 2023 general election. The height of celebration was between former Senator Dino Melaye and the two ten and seven Sokoto State Governor a minute was Ziri Tambua. The former senator was at first captured on camera, lifting Governor Tambua, who decided to step down for Alaji Abubakar to emerge the PDP's candidate. Captioning the video, Senator Dino Melaye explained it was caused by the excitement of the moment. In yet another video, the senator and the governor could be seen exchanging handshakes and laughing with each other. <laughs> Meanwhile, as celebrations continue, the Atiku campaign organization has now launched a nationwide volunteers registration portal in preparation for 2023 presidential elections. At the same time, the incumbent governor of River State, Ezingwo Yensong Wiki, who was also vying for the presidential flagship of the PDP, is here to congratulate Alaji Atiku, who won the presidential primaries about two days ago. Governor Wiki, during his address to PDP delegate in Abuja, promised to give unalloyed support to whoever emerges winner of the primaries besides him. However, he has yet to issue any congratulatory message to Alaji Abubakar since Saturday. Important delegates today, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, I have come to your states to speak to you. Today is for me to thank you, it's for me to thank you for the energy since morning you have been here because of this party. Thank you. Special delegates, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Listen, I will speak to you on two issues. One is the party. All my, let me vow today, anybody who emerges here, I will support the person to the fullest. Anybody who emerges here today, I will support the person to the fullest because I'm a committed party person because I love this party because since 1998 I've been in this party I work for this party I will not go anywhere this is my party
Secondly, if I am here today, every state that has a problem, it is my duty to make sure the party is united. We unite everybody to make sure we win this election 2023. You know, I didn't come here today to tell you about theory. What is the problem with Nigeria? Leadership. Leadership is the major problem with uh, Nigeria. Therefore, PDP, you must not make mistakes. You must have a courageous leader, a fearless leader, somebody who can withstand APC. And it is me, it is me. Please, please, my brother, my brother, send me for this assignment. Let me go and win APC. I will win APC for the power to come back to PDP on behalf of Nigeria. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and God bless you. Meanwhile, a video of Governor Wiki bowing to the former vice president during preparations for the primary elections is now in circulation. Reno Mokri apologizes to Peter Obi after vicious attacks on Arise TV. Nigerian author, activist, and avid traveler Reno Mokri has apologized to former presidential hopeful of the People's Democratic Party PDP Peter Obi after viciously attacking him for dumping the PDP three days to the presidential primaries. Mokri had on an interview in Arise TV criticized Obi for being dishonest as certain Obi left the PDP because he was going to be disgraced by the results of the elections. However, Omokri has now revealed in a brief statement released via his social media handles that he has apologized to Obi who has now joined the Labour Party of Nigeria where he will be contesting as presidential candidate in the coming 2023 general elections. According to the statement, Omokri said, quote, I have just spoken to Peter Obi. I apologize for my comments on Arise TV and Peter told me to inform the public that certain persons on Twitter and other social media who have alienated him from so many do not speak for him or his campaign. Peter will also be tweeting a statement, unquote. No matter how popular Obi is on social media, the, so, the Labour Party does not have the capacity to transmit to translate that into votes. We need to have agents in each of the several and four local governments all over Nigeria, in each territorial zone, in this state, in this region, nationally. You need to have people. Our apart from the southwest that has an adult literacy rate that is just above um, the uh, what the UN recommends, all the other zones they have adult literacy rate that is lower. So we have a lot of people who are going to be confused at the uh, unit. So you need agents to tell that, okay, listen, you, uh, Peter Obi is no longer in, uh, uh, a PDP is no longer in this, so you have to vote here. Labour Party does not have that kind of capacity. Now, you talked about Peter Obi's excuse for leaving the People's Democratic Party. Peter Obi had joined the People's Democratic Party sometime in 2014. And then he ran on the, on the platform of the party in uh, 2019 as the vice presidential candidate. Peter, he has been in this party comfortably for about eight years. He knows the character of the party. So he, if it's now just uh, three days before the presidential primary, so to say, okay, well, my kind of politics does not agree with the PDP, he just been, that's an excuse. He's been opportunistic because he knows how this party has been. The reason why he stepped down, which is not telling the public, is because he was going to be disgraced at the primaries. Even in his own state, he doesn't control the people, the, the PDP uh, machinery. So he wasn't even going to get the most votes even in his own state. So to avoid that disgrace, then he just came out and brought about this opportunistic uh, excuse that he's leaving the party because of this, because of that, because of that. Look at what he said. I watched uh, him on Newsnight yesterday on this channel and he's, the one of the presenters asked him, look, how could you have left the People's Democratic Party, which is uh, a party that is tilting towards the right, and then you go to the Labour Party, which is a party that is almost as far left as possible without being uh, a communist uh, party. And then he said to him that, I mean, your ideology clearly doesn't fit with this ideology. And his response is that, no, my ideology fits with that. And that is dishonesty on his part. On his part, will be the former member of the PDP and now member of Labour Party while thanking his supporters also called for decorum, saying, quote, I humbly appeal that we all imbibe the spirit of sportsmanship 
and avoid name calling or personal attacks on other aspirants and candidates. Unquote. At the same time, will be a former governor of Anambra State as congratulated former vice president of Nigeria, Alaji Atiku Abubaka, over his emergence as the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party for the coming general elections. In his congratulatory message, will be regarded Alaji Abubaka as his leader and elder brother, praying that God will continue to bless him always. That was political news brought to you by TGM TV. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for you to get more updates from us. We will equally love to know your opinion about each of the stories reported on in this video. Please drop your comments or suggestions in the comment section. TGM TV is an online and entertainment news outlet that presents news stories from dynamic viewpoint. We specialize in the presentation of news using multimedia platforms and you can locate us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram with our handle at the GM TV News. Before we go, here are the recap of today's stories on political news. Celebrations continue to rock the opposition People's Democratic Party PDP, over the emergence of former Nigerian Vice President Alaji Atiku Abubakar as a party's presidential candidate for the coming 2023 general elections. Nigerian author, activist and avid traveler Reno Mokri has apologized to former presidential hopeful of the People's Democratic Party PDP Peter Obi after viciously attacking him for dumping the PDP three days to the presidential primaries. Thank you for watching and please watch out for more news stories from us. Bye. DJ TV. DJ TV.